Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Laura for those of you that do not know and today I'm doing a highly requested video and that is my bookshelf tour here at college. For those of you that may not know, I am in college and I recently moved out on my own into an apartment while I am attending school because my college is far away from home. So clearly here we are in my room at college. You can kind of see my bookshelf in the back of me. Um, I did a video when I first moved in which was organizing the bookshelf. Since that video I've kind of reorganized some aspects of the shelf. It looks a little bit different but a lot of you guys have asked me to do just like a full out bookshelf tour. I know you guys haven't seen an actual bookshelf tour from me since like 2015. Um, the reality of it is my bookshelf at home is super cluttered, so messy, like insane. I can't even fit half of my books on my shelves anymore. The nice thing about here is that I only have a small, small fraction of the books that I have at home with me at school. So no, this is not my full book collection. This is a very small section of all of the books that I own, but these are the books that I decided to take with me to college and all that jazz. So I'm just going to go ahead and share the shelves with you guys. I kind of filmed this video in a little bit of a different style than most bookshelf tours that I've done in the past. So let me know if you guys like it. Um, and we're just gonna get into it. So just starting out, I kind of just want to show you like an overview of the shelf. I was gonna use my tripod to film this, so I really hope it's not too shaky or anything, but my tripod was kind of uneven and I wanted you guys to just see the shelf for what it is. Um, you can see it's next to my closet, which is mirrored, so you can like see my desk kind of there. Um, and then it's also right next to my door. Here I just have a little girl's rule, <laughs> a little clay thing that I painted. Um, on top of my shelf, I have this jar that I usually keep coins in with, you know, some scrunchies on there. And then right here is my Steve from Stranger Things Pop Funko. You may also notice that I have little lights on my shelf. So I'm going to go ahead and turn those on so you guys can get a better look at that. Okay, so there it is with the lights, and it's actually three different strips of light, but I still couldn't fit, like, you can see right there and there, it's missing, and up on the right-hand corner it's missing. Um, but I mean, it's fine, I think it looks cute, and it just kind of adds, like, a little touch to the shelves, and I don't know, I just like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start and share with you guys the individual shelves, obviously, just to make it out of the way. The bottom shelf is completely empty other than the little light boxes for my string lights. Um, I didn't bring that many books to college that I could fill the whole shelf, but I think that's gonna be good in case I do get some more books while I'm here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start on the top shelf. So obviously, first of all, we have the After series by Anna Todd. I'm not gonna pull them all out, but I figure I'll pull the first one out. So that's After. We have After We Collided, After We Fell, and After Ever Happy. Now, this isn't the full collection. There's two other spinoff novels, and there's also like a prequel book, and these are just the four that I brought to school. Um, I also have two other Anna Todd books. We have The Spring Girls, which I haven't read yet. It's actually a retelling of Little Women, so I'm actually really excited about that one. And then we have her newest release, which is The Brightest Stars. Um, I did a sponsored Instagram post for this book. You can see on my Instagram page. So I got two copies sent to me, actually, one by the company I worked for to do the video and also one from Anna Todd's publicist. I ended up giving my second copy away to my friend McKenna because she loves After, so I figured I would give her Anna's new book. So she's gonna read that. Um, next up, we have the whole Seabree series by Abby Glines. I talk about this series all the time. It's one of my favorites. The first book is Breathe, um, and then this is the rest. There's Because of Low, While It Lasts, Just For Now, Sometimes It Lasts, Misbehaving, Bad For You, Hold On Tight, and Until The End, and that is the order that they go in. There is nine books total and I absolutely love all of them, so that's a great series. And then over here we have a few different standalones, some of my favorites up here. Um, we have Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone. This is an ARC copy. I've told the story a million times, but my friend basically has my other copy that's like a hardcover, so I've just been having the ARC. Um, and then we have Looking for Alaska by John Green, one of my all-time favorites. We have Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire, which I actually just reread and re-fell in love with. And then I have three books by Casey West. These have to be my three favorites by her. We have By Your Side, On the Fence, and The Distance Between Us. So that makes up for the top shelf. It's basically just a bunch of my favorites, or like in the Anna Todd case, my favorite series with her other books. So that is the top shelf. 
Moving down to the second shelf, we have some books that I've read and then some that are on my TBR. Moving over to the left-hand side, we have the To All the Boys I've Loved Before trilogy by Jenny Han. Obviously, the first book is To All the Boys I've Loved Before. Second is P.S. I Still Love You. And third is Always and Forever, Laura Jean. I actually haven't read the whole series. I've only read the first book. But I decided to bring it with me to college because I really enjoyed the movie, so I kind of want to get back into the series. Um, next up, we have some Morgan Matson books. This is her newest book, which is called Save the Date. I still haven't read it, but I've heard so many great things from you guys especially, so I'm super excited to start it. Um, I also have The Unexpected Everything, which I haven't read yet, but I'm super excited to. And then I have Second Chance Summer, which is my favorite by her, so I just figured I'd bring it to school. Next up we have some Stephanie Perkins books. I know that the Anna and the French Kiss series is kind of tired and a lot of people don't even like it anymore, but I still really enjoy it. Um, that consists of Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and Isla and the Happily Ever After. I just find this series to be super fun to reread, so I wanted to bring that. I also have There's Someone Inside Your House, which is by Stephanie Perkins. This one is kind of like a thriller, I guess, and I wanted to have more thrillers for like the Halloween season coming up, so I decided to bring that. Up next, I have The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I have not read this book yet, but I'm so excited to, and I really wanna read it before the film comes out because I really wanna see it. So I decided to bring that with me. I'll probably be reading that one very, very soon. Next, I have All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven, another one on my TBR. The rest of the books on the shelf are actually all TBR books. Um, I Am Still Alive by Katherine Alice Marshall. Heard a lot of great things about that one. The Moon and More by Sarah Dessen. This is one that I still haven't read by her. I've read most of her books, but that one I just haven't. Um, the Fall of Innocence by Jenny Torres Sanchez. I've heard so many great things about this book, and the synopsis seems phenomenal, so super excited for that one. Um, I have The Merciless by Danielle Vega, again going with that spooky Halloween theme. I'm probably going to read that one in October. And then I have Girl Made of Stars by Ashley Herring Blake, which I've just heard fantastic things about. So super excited for that one as well. So next up we have the third shelf, which is all TBR books for me. I haven't read any of these yet, but I'm super excited to. Um, starting over here on the left, the first book we have is All We Can Do Is Wait by Richard Lawson. This one seems so phenomenal and very different from what I usually read, but I'm super excited about it. Um, next we have Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. I've heard lots of great things about that one. Um, Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I can't believe I still haven't read this, but I really haven't. Um, next we have Between Us and the Moon by Rebecca Maisel. This is a book that takes place in Cape Cod, and as somebody who is always in Cape Cod, I thought it would be fun to read. Next up we have Autobiography by Christina Lauren. I've heard so many fantastic things about this book, and I love Christina Lauren. I think their writing together is so phenomenal, and I'm super excited about it. Next I have They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. This one I'm like so excited to read and I haven't gotten to it. I've heard so many good things about it. I haven't read anything by Adam Silvera, but I'm super excited too. Next we have Broken Beautiful Hearts by Cami Garcia. Heard a lot of great things about that one. Uh, we have Perfect Ten by Elle Phillips, another book that I've been meaning to read for quite some time. Um, Crossing the Line by Simone Elkilis. I really don't know how to say her last name ever. Um, this one is for my cringy book cover video that I did. Um, the One Memory of Flora Banks by Emily Barr. I've heard so many fantastic things about this book and I just haven't gotten to it. Um, then we have some paperbacks here. Shuffle Repeat by Jen Klein, another book from my cringy book covers video. Open Road Summer by Emery Lord, another book I've been wanting to read for some time now. We have Almost Impossible by Nicole Williams, another author that I really love and can't wait to read that book. The Sacrifice Box by Martin Stewart. This is actually an arc from August. You can see it got like rain damage on it. I don't know if you can tell, but um, I'm super excited for that one. Kissing in America by Margot Robb. I've heard so many good things about and this one is Fan Art by Sarah Trege, another one I've heard so many great things about. Basically this whole shelf is books that I've heard great things about. Um, and then right here we have a little mug that says 
books before looks and in there i just keep you know all of my bookmarks and stuff like that book outlet keep calm and read on you know a bunch of different ones that i have so that is that shelf then moving down to the fourth shelf which is the last one that actually has anything on it um this one is kind of miscellaneous it's a lot of romance books but also some other stuff thrown in there um first of all i have a coloring book right here this is the selection coloring book by kira cass i just thought that would be like a fun thing to have um, another random thing is my one minute gratitude journal, which is just like exactly what it sounds like. Um, so that's kind of a fun thing that I sometimes do. Um, next up, we have an actual book that is Egghead by Bo Burnham, which I love. I love Bo Burnham so much. Um, this is Pour Your Heart Out Jane Austen, which is basically like a notebook, reckless journal thing that um, Penguin put out, which I think is really cool. Oh, this is a reading journal thing that I use for reviews. Um, more books. We have It Gets Worse by Shane Dawson, which is a collection of short essays, which I love. Here we have a few different poetry books. I have Give Me a God I Can Relate To by Blythe Baird, which is like one of my favorites. Um, and then these two books by Clementine Von Radix. We have As Often as Miracles, which is ripped. Um, and then we have Dream Girl. So those are two of my all-time favorite poetry girls. So I really love those. Um, up next, we have Existence by Abby Glines, which again is for my cringy book cover video. Um, I would put it up with the other Abby Glines books, but it just doesn't match. <laughs> okay, then we have Beloved by Corinne. In Michaels. I basically just have like a bunch of random romance books. Oh my gosh. A bunch of random romance books that I thought sounded good. Um, the One Real Thing by Samantha Young. We have The Wedding Date by Jasmine Gilliori. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I've heard a lot of great things about that one actually. Um, True by Erin McCarthy, which I have read and I've talked about. Um, All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. Still one that I really need to get to and I'm super excited to start. Um, Dating You, Hating You by Christina Lauren. Again, really like Christina Lauren, so I'm excited for that one. Uh, Wish You Were Here by Renee Carlino, another author that I'm a big fan of. We have There's Wild, Then There's You by M. Leeton. I don't really know about that one. <laughs> Um, next we have Tell Me No Lies by A.V. Geiger. This is kind of a random one in the bunch. It's not a romance book. It's kind of like a psychological thriller meets romance book. I don't know. It's a Wattpad story. It's the second book in the series. I really need to get to it, um, but that's just where it fit. Um, next I have If You Leave by Courtney Cole, which I've read. Um, Up at Butternut Lake by Mary McNear. There's actually kind of a funny story behind this one. Me and my friend just thought Butternut Lake sounded like the most ridiculous name for a series, uh, so I bought the book. <laughs> Um, next we have Taking Chances by Molly McAdams, which most of you know my feelings towards this book. Not a huge fan. You can see I have some notes in there from when I was going to do a rant review, but I never finished my reread. So maybe I'll finish my reread and actually do the rant review. Hey guys, it's future Lara coming at you. I think my hand was over the mic during this part, so I'm just going to narrate this little bit here. Here I'm showing you Dare to Fall by Estelle Mascom, and then here we have The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank. And then we also have Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Here I just have two like spiral bound notebooks that I use to like plan videos or whatever. And then I also have some colored pencils there. So that is the whole fourth shelf. Again, I will just show you this is completely empty other than the little remotes to turn off and on the lights. So now just kind of giving you one more kind of once over at all the shelves. This is what they look like. Again, this is a very small portion of my books, but I will say it's really nice to have like an organized bookshelf, especially after the chaos that was my bookshelf at home. So this is really fun and it looks so minimal and nice, maybe not to everybody, but to me. So yeah, that's basically it for the bookshelf tour. Okay, so that is my whole bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. You can also turn on your post notifications so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you all very soon in a new video. Bye!